Okay. Lady Elbow here with Rustam Kaibilov. Did I pronounce that right? Here uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico at the Legacy Fights. Rustam, how are you doing? Good. Everything is good. Watch five. Good. Relax. Uh -huh. And you have, your, you have your translator here just in case. I ask you yeah. to get it My English is not so good. Okay. I'm so sorry about this. This guy helped me. Yeah, and who's your friend? Yeah, he's uh, Tim. Tim? Tim. Okay. Also from Dagestan? No, I'm from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Okay. So, big fight here in Albuquerque on June 7th against Benson Henderson. Yeah. Well, talk about that fight. Yeah, let's 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 talk about that fight. He's really excited about having this fight in here in Albuquerque because he's been living here for a while. And he also, like, he just started feeling himself like he's at home. Like he's native to Albuquerque huh. in New Mexico. Benson Henderson is a big step up in competition. He's a former world champion. Big step up from your last fight against Jorge Masvidal. He's also a decorated wrestler. And you're a wrestler as well, is that right? Yes, I know. Yeah. Ben Henderson, он он очень он бывший чемпион UFC. Он говорит, а после твоего последнего боя с Хорхе Масвидалом, он говорит, это очень большой уровень тебя слишком быстро подняли на большой уровень. Что ты об этом думаешь? И он он во борьбе у Бен Хендерсона очень очень хороший. Борьба мы проверим, кого лучше борьба. Он хороший боец. И я, честно говорю, рад, что мне именно этот бой дали. Я знаю, что многие люди говорят там, о, для него легкий бой, то все. Но мы увидим, кто сильнее. Окей, okay, so basically, he uh, said that we'll see whose wrestling game is better or not. Because, I mean, yeah, he's a good wrestler and everything else. But he says, like, oh, well, I was a calm from my background of wrestling also, man. So, I also think about uh, how to test it out. Like, I mean, everybody thinks that it's going to be an easy fight, but you never can predict the fight. You just need to pick it, like, follow it and see how it's going to happen. Uh -huh. So people have, even, have people have been telling you they think it, this, this is an easy fight for you. Is that right? No, not for me. Not, for, not, for, for, not for him. Oh, for Ben for Henderson. The, yeah. Да, они, они так, я, я то знаю, что там э, все так думают. Ну ничего, да, проверим мы это, что и как. Если я, я лично рад, я этого сам хотел, этого боя, потому что я в себе уверен. I was super stoked and excited when I found out that I'm getting Ben Henderson because I already asked him. I already asked for it and I just wanted to see what, how it's gonna go. And like if he thinks and people think that it's gonna be an easy fight, we'll just we'll have to see it when it comes towards the fight. This guy is good to hear from me. He's okay. He said, I'm, said that, like, I'm super confident in myself and like, I want to thank all my fans and whoever supports me, I would like them to just support me and see how it goes. So Ben Henderson, the wrestler, is famous for taking people down. You've developed quite a reputation for picking people up and slamming them on their heads. Who do you think is going to have their way? Get it, Ben Henderson. I'm super excited that people Тебя все знают как, как по броскам просто. Говорит, как ты думаешь? Что случится? Как это все произойдет? Ну, Хендерсон не только в борьбе, он хороший. Он везде хороший, очень сильный боец. Я это знаю, что он очень сильный. Он э, разносторонний очень э, в этом дивизионе. Да, таких бойцов там мало. Ну, я не знаю, я буду готовиться. Я сделаю все, что буду, буду бой, несмотря на то, что он там борется и ведет. Я буду 
стараться все старания лучше при превосходить. He said that uh, Ben Henderson, yeah, he's a really good player uh, in, in, in almost every aspect of it. Grappling, striking, takedowns, targeting, everything else is looking like, you know, as a guy just gonna yeah, try to, uh, he has a point, and he just wants to accomplish that and see where he goes from that. Because honestly, he's been spending a lot of time really everything else on training for this time coming up. And he almost close to his goal, which is hopefully after this fight will be maybe a title shot. So, um, your friend and countryman, well, I don't know if he's your countryman, Adlan Amaga, he's from Chechnya, right? Yeah. Is he a friend of yours? Adlan Amaga, is it? I'm a special. Yeah, Adlan Amaga, Amaga he's, he's, yeah, he's his friend, and they also, he, Adlan Amaga actually is living in Moscow, right? Okay, well, yeah, I was going to ask because there's been a lot of speculation. Where is Adlan? There's been talk, oh, he's not fighting anymore for religious reasons. There's even been talk, oh, he's a terrorist. Where is Adlan? Can you set the record state? Where is Adlan Amagov and what is he doing? Я спрашиваю, да где нам надо? Ты так думаешь, что террористы это люди идиоты, что ли? So whoever thinks that Allah Amagov is a terrorist, they're just making fun of themselves and they're just idiots. Of course, I was not, I was not really suggesting that he was. My real question is, where is he? What's he doing? Он в Москве, у него все хорошо. Я с ним виделся, когда последний раз я с ним виделся, он говорил, что все нормально у него, со здоровьем никаких проблем нету. И он говорит, пока, говорит, я точно не знаю, может, вернусь, нет. Я не знаю больше, чем вы. Я просто, я знаю, что у него все хорошо, и я рад за него, как бы он не поступил, хоть он оставит бои, хоть он э, вернется обратно, я всегда рад за него. So basically, he said that he did see a lot of Maga Pastor in the Moscow. He said, like, everything is fine with him, he's healthy. Um, he's just, you know, it's like he just talked to him, it's like, you know, it's like he honestly doesn't really know as much as you guys do. It's like he just supports him. If he really wants to come back, he will come back. If he doesn't, he won't. It's like it's his own choice and honestly nobody will know if he's coming back or not. Uh -huh. Well, I've heard rumors, I'll just put this out there. My sources tell me that Adlan is a bodyguard uh, taking care of some wealthy person in Russia. Он говорит, я тоже слышал, что по секрету кто-то ему сказал, что там Адлан Амагов работает тем же хранителем для какого-то олигарха. Это правда или нет? Мне это не правда, я такого не слышал. Если так было, я знал бы, что он работает. Этот человек, я думаю, он, он, у него семья, у него ребенок, он занимается своими делами. Может, я не знаю, я, я, я знаю, что у меня работы точно нет, и я думаю, он больше времени проводит со своей, со своей семьей. Но он сказал, нет, это не правда, если бы это было правда, то он бы услышал это. Но он сказал, я думаю, что если бы он был человеком, он просто 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 And honestly, he's like, uh, he knows he doesn't have a job right now, so we really don't know what he's doing. He doesn't have a job? No. Was he cut by the UFC? <clears throat> no, he didn't get cut by the UFC. He no. basically left on his own. He just left on his own, you know, by his own, I don't know, reasons. Uh -huh. Probably because of the family, though. That's what we're thinking. Okay, okay, interesting. So I guess just getting back to the Ben Henderson fight, how do you think, how do you see it ending and here, here on June 7th, uh, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico? How do you think this fight will end with Ben Henderson? I'm not going to end with anything. Tell me, I'm going to show the ring, we have a set, we're going to win.
He said, I'm not gonna be like, I'm not a magician or anything else. I was like, well, I don't know what's gonna happen. He said, we'll see what's what's gonna happen in the octagon. And the cage will show it all. Okay, well, thank you very much. You. Good luck on June 7th. Thank you. 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 Thanks so much. Nice to meet you.